Hello and welcome to the second part of the tutorial se uh, series about uh, depth extraction. In this case, I will show you how to prepare such a 3D, a 3D animation from a single photo of the bee on the flower. Uh, in the next part, so it will be in the third part, uh, I will go through bookshelves again from a single image, image together with depth information. I base um, the depth extraction on the Midas neural network from uh, PyTorch Hub. Uh, the code to extract the depth is online. So this is how the scene looks like. If I click play, you can see that the camera is moving. This is only the camera move. Uh, this is essential that the camera is in the plane, so uh, we do not see this gray zone. And the whole geometry is based on a single flat image, flat surface. So what I did before, uh, I essentially created a flat plane and added displace modifier. So I created plane, shift A, then added some geometry to the plane, it should be to the other plane, yes. Uh, so I added modifier um, subdivision surface, it should be simple. And then for six levels for both viewport and render and clicked apply. So I'll do it this particular one. Uh, it is essential also to have shade smooth uh, in both cases. Uh, so in shaded mode, uh, you can see it's, it's really 3D. Uh, so apart from um, subdivision surface, I have this displace modifier uh, that can be found in here a little bit higher, yes. Um, so the direction in this particular case is Z, space is local, strength is one, can be different, mid-level is 0 0.5 and this is how the files are extracted. Here I have imported 8-bit TIFF uh, depth file. Uh, which describes distance from the camera, roughly distance from the camera. Uh, what is important is to have extent version of the of the mapping, uh, because then uh, there are not that many problems on the edges. Uh, size should be similar to the size of the image, and the color mapping uh, should be sorry, not color color mapping, yeah, should be standard, not filming. Um, color management, sorry. Yes. So basically speaking, I put also the camera in 0, 0, 0 with angle 0, 0, 0. Um, and one important thing is to have texture. Uh, and I have put just emission shader, nothing fancy, uh, so that I didn't have to even have a light in the scene. So I have animated location and rotation. To animate it, it's quite uh, easy. So I just put the camera in some place and when I uh, hover over location or rotation, I click I uh, from the keyboard and then I, have, thanks to this, I have uh, the key point in the timeline. Um, so as you can see, it's only Z, Z direction change and rotation change. Uh, here with I another another keyframe, and yeah, and that's basically it. That's the animation. So single photo, depth extracted from the previous tutorial, um, and we have it. In the next part, as I said, uh, we'll go through kind of environment, in this case the library with books, again single photo and depth extracted. And in the next part I will show you how to extract foreground based on the depth from, in this case, video, video stream, but basically on images. Thank you very much and see you in the next part.